6.45 in the morning, just up, ready to go, um, doing a little bit of like a nutrition detox this week, um, things have just been a bit crazy in terms of food, a little bit of refined sugar creeping in and I can definitely feel it, so um, my training this week, obviously I'm in prep for High Rocks London, um, means I'm in an accumulation phase now which means big volumes of training, this morning is a threshold run of 10 minutes on steady pace, 15 minutes threshold, 10 minutes steady pace, 15 minutes threshold. Um, as you can probably hear, we like to have a little bit of spa music, calming, zen in the mornings. Um, and then after this, I'm gonna obviously get my breakfast in, refeed the carbs, um, and yeah, get ahead with the day. So um, I'll program a little bit, sorry, I'll put a bit of the program up, and um, yeah, you guys can see how things go this week. So Jade has this thing since she saw someone looking really cool. Sean Ellison. In their Oakleys, she wanted a pair. So yesterday we were in Cambridge. And here they are. Oh, look at them. <laughs> that bumblebee running around. <laughs> also raining outside. Um, actually, I've never wore sunglasses to run. And I think that's why, partly why I have a little bit of damage in one eye. So that's definitely the glare off the tarmac. So yep, turned 30, realized I don't want to be blind by 40. So I'm getting practical now. I know that's that, so bye. All right, let's you get it going. So um, this morning session, we're going for 10 minutes on steady state. Um, so that'll be keeping my heart rate in between zone two and zone three. Uh, then we're going to take the pace up for 15 minutes. I'm going to hold a 5k or a threshold pace. Um, should be able to have a conversation on a threshold pace. I'm going to try and sit somewhere around the four minute mark, four minute per k. Maybe just slightly slower, maybe between four and 4.05. Um, then back down to 10 minutes, steady state at a heart rate. So that will dictate the pace. I'm not going to set a pace on here. I'm going to find the first couple of minutes and just see how, how my heart rate responds. I'm hydrated this morning and things like that. It shouldn't peak too quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to sit somewhere for the zone two and three just by obviously knowing my body. It's probably going to be about the five, five minute per K type pace. Um, we'll sit here for 10 minutes. to actually uh, film my session um, but last night was basically a upper body session after my threshold run in the morning and um, things just went on a little bit longer yesterday so I don't like to train as late as I did last night um, but sometimes things happen and you just have to get on with it um, it was a push pull so it was uh, weighted pull-ups times six um, bench press times 12 for four sets and um, then I did some rope pull-ups times six um, with a uh, weighted push-up set, so hand release push-ups, plate on the back. That was a, that was a four round. Um, then I did some single arm rows and then 12 per side um, with a incline uh, incline bench set. Again, four sets. Um, then I did a conditioning piece of 21, 18, 15 of um, box jumps and kettlebell swings. So that was my session last night. A bit shorter than anticipated. It was meant to be a little bit more in there, but it was like eight o'clock by the time I got to train. Um, so yeah, I'm up, ready to go this morning. Um, I'll get some footage in the gym, show you guys what I'm doing day two. Um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll get the baby the kids first. Banded pull aparts. I'm just gonna get a, keep the arms nice and straight. Just literally whack the back through. Part two, five minute EMOM, 10 cleans at 60%, all right? Hustle bar. Five 
guys. Every minute on the minute. jump on here um four o'clock trained this morning um had three back-to-back -back client calls this morning um a call with hyrox at lunchtime and then for the last two hour two and a half hours after lunch i've been programming so had pretty hectic day and it's kind of made me want to check in on here um just quickly because obviously i have another training session to do and to find the energy to do tonight. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect example of the days that sometimes being an athlete as well as coaching is a challenge. Um, and so I wanna share this with you because I think that we can look at, you know, full-time athletes um, and, and think that, you know, they've always got energy and they're always buzzing, but the truth of the matter is that the, the balance is tough. Um, and so it's that constant dilemma of, you know, do I listen to my body and pull back right now or do I take advantage of, you know, the, the feeling and kind of try and direct some level of energy into tonight's training. So we'll see how I feel um, and I'll check in with you guys. I'm going to get some good fuel in now. Uh, fourth meal of the day, um, it's going to be a green shake with protein, coconut milk and water. Probably gives me about 400 calories with the greens. Um, I use a brand called Living Fuel. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get that in and then see how I feel in the next hour or two regarding training. I'm not going to push it if I'm not feeling up to it. Um, I've got a, a Metcon style Hyrox uh, simulation energy system session tonight um, and a little bit of an SSR as well, which is like 35, 40 minutes of just kind of recovery pace. So I might opt for just the recovery pace. I'll see how I feel um, and take away, knock the knock on the head the, the, uh, the, the Hyrox sim. Sometimes you've got to listen to your body. Um, and it's only Tuesday. I need to last the week. So um, yeah, it's just one of those afternoons. But I wanted to share this with you because I think we only sometimes see the highlight reel of, of people's lives. So yeah, all right, I'll catch up with you tonight. Okay, so repeat number eight, just done. Started off at one, between 150, 155 per 500 meters for the first seven. That one just dropped to closer to two minutes. So 
I need a 40 minute rest. I'm like, I need to get back on. Uh, one. 158. That's my 14th 500 meters. Over halfway. Aerobic system's kicking in. I've had to pull back my recovery between six sets either ever so slightly. So for the first 12, I was taking 40 seconds rest between each one to try and stay at the two minute mark or below. On the 18th interval, I've moved to the treadmill. It's got a little bit windy outside, so ha, it's not me being at worst. I'm just trying to keep it repeatable and as flat as possible. Um, the wind just changes the dynamics, so obviously there's no wind in high rocks. If it was a steady state run, I wouldn't care, but I just want to keep with the pace. Protein balls. Uh, about 35, 40 minutes, you've got to fuel, um, whether it's training or competing. So dates, crush nuts, honey, all sorts in there. So, all right, let's do it. thousand meter row game pace for me is two 210 per 500 meters average um, we work through 100 deadlifts 100 burpees and 100 dual dumbbell ground to overhead slight change in the dynamic of the movements um, sometimes that's the way it goes so we did 100 of those that trio in the middle section and then cash out with another K row trying to stay at the same pace you cashed in with uh, minimal rest but take when needed uh, yeah, that one was sweet, but tough. So yeah, active recovery day tomorrow. I'll give you guys an insight to what that active day road looks like for me. So. 